OSL sloppy seconds, baby? You want the second OSL? All right, I'll show you how to do OSL again. Just for you, just for you, sauce daddy protect. All right, let's talk about it again, but even slower and better this time. All right, here we go. Here's our primed model. We don't need colors for this. We don't need colors. We don't need colors. All right, here we go. Same step, right? We want to use white ink. White ink is the key for OSL, for your like your object source lighting, right? So when we're talking about plasma specifically on Hell Blasters, right? The plasma coils are the source of our glow. This is where the glow is coming from, we would assume, is the plasma. I like to paint my coils on my plasma so that the insides of the coils are hotter than the outside, which is why plasma is so good with ink. So watch this. We take white ink that's a little bit thinned down and we come in here and we fill the coils. Okay, just fill it with white ink. And this is really, really useful. The white ink is the best for this. This really does not work with white paint, especially a good white paint. Um, you actually want something that's more, that's like got less opaque of a finish. Um, so you could see, see how the coils are darker than the area underneath it? That already sets up this plasma gun for a bit of a glow, right? So the coils are darker and we now have our glow source underneath the coils, right? Which is how I read plasma, to be honest, right? That just makes sense to me when I think about how plasma operates on a gun, blah, 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 blah. Cool. This is it. This is how I interpret plasma. You can argue about how plasma works. I just think that the glow comes from inside of it, not on the top of the coils. That's what makes sense. Science, stonks, this is how I roll, okay? All right, we got that. Next. We come in and we establish the light halo. So the glow area around the light source using an airbrush. <laughs> Five head. <laughs> All right, here we go. GME diamond hands? Yeah, 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 of course. Of fucking course I'm GME diamond handsing, bro. Okay, um, here we go. Halo. Aren't you gonna dry the ink? The ink dries pretty damn fast. It's a really thin acrylic, so it's good to go. Good to go. We're ready to go. Next up, establishing the glow halo, right? So this is our glow source, object source, the glow source, however you wanna talk about it. Plasma coils, right? This is where the glow is coming from. It's already looking hot, okay? And now we come in and we add the halo. So the glow around it. When we're doing it and we think that it could get on the body, which is totally fine, we can just literally overspray a little bit to where we think the glow would also hit the body. So I always recommend establishing your glow first before you start working on the body. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of over splash already and just let that help show you where you are going to put the rest of your light, right? So we can see we already got a little bit up that arm right there, right? So just for the sake of this lesson, we're gonna pop a little bit more glow up here and I'll show you why, cool? All right, so there we go. We've got a little bit more of an established glow area now, okay? So this is a little bit more advanced stuff about how to come back before we do the color. So now that we've got that established, Rinse out that airbrush real quick with some water. Bada bing, bada boom. We're good to go there. Watch this. Next, that light would be hitting some of these hard edges a little bit harder than the splash areas around it. So this light is bouncing back up on the shoulder panel. So we're gonna just say, hey, we're gonna add a little bit of a, like a glow, like a hard glow edge to some of this. So this is just an edge highlight. So now we got our glow edge there, right? Same thing here. We wanna catch a little bit of this, this piece right here. Right, so these are the places that we're gonna see the OSL. We would imagine the OSL is catching the edge a little bit more because it's a hard edge, okay? Same thing here, hard edges. Just think about how you can capture a little bit more light on those hard edges. So that's that, right? We come over here, let's make this one even a little bit bigger. 
cool. So now we got all of these. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Next, we're coming in and we're messing with the source light color. Let's use this color. I get asked all the time, what color green are you using for OSL? So now you'll know. Now you'll see, this is how I did all the OSL in my Alpha Legion right here, is exactly what you're seeing. Um, here we go, Dollar and Rowney, Emerald. Again, Dollar and Rowney, I've experimented with both. I have Dollar and Rowney, I like it. I like Liquitex more. Do whatever product you can get, do whichever one you're most comfortable with. They're both great products, cool. There's your rants on that. Next. We are basically coming in and we want to basically uh, dribble in a little bit of this ink. The reason that ink is so good for OSL is because of this right here. Inks run in a range of different transparencies. This is a semi-transparent ink. That's what the S is. It'll range from transparent, semi-transparent to opaque, three different ranges. Semi-transparent is pretty nice, but can sometimes get a little crazy. Um, I want it to be a little bit thinner, so I'm going to add a little bit of flow improver in there so it flows out even a little bit more transparent. Flow improver is a good way to add transparency to paints while you airbrush them. Same with thinner, but thinner, I don't like thinner. I do all my airbrushing with flow improver. I literally never use thinner. Okay, so adding flow improver makes that paint a little bit more transparent, which is what we want. We've basically established our glow already on this model, right? Like it's it's there. We've got it lined up. If my camera would cooperate, we would definitely see it. <laughs> Here, let me get this out so you guys can see. We've basically done, here's the thing about OSL. OSL is all about setup, all about setup. We've already set up the glow. It's already established, right? Like it's obvious where the glow is coming from. It's obviously where it's reflecting and that is glowing around there. Like it's just, it's easy, 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 easy. It's all in the setup. And then the color, you can use really any color and you just shift it, you tint it, right? So here we go. This is how I tend my color. Emerald green. Um, again, on this side, just let it do its thing. So the reason that this works so good is because inks are slightly transparent. We've already set up how this is gonna glow, right? There we go. So that's our glow right there for the most part, right? So we've got our, our big splash areas, our hard edges where the light's really collecting, okay? We got one more thing to do on this that I like to do on certain things like plasma and stuff like that in general. Um, but sometimes I like to reestablish a slightly brighter glow, right? So we're just coming back in with this ink um, on this thing and we're just adding an edge highlight here this brush is shot actually this brush is terrible grab the wrong one all right here we go we want in the same way we want a very bright we don't want it to be tinted i like a very bright edge highlight on my plasma right underneath the glow source it's really subtle but it makes a huge difference on overall brightness perception. So there's just a little, see the little tiny baby edge highlight in the bottom of the plasma? And boom! That's how I do OSL on plasma specifically. Like this is definitely how I OSL Hell Blasters. This is how I did all of the Alpha Legion project. That is it. Um, this white edge highlight down here, it's a little bit more advanced, so I didn't want to get into it, but you could do this white edge highlight is even better if you could do that bottom one with a thin down white oil paint. So then you can wick it off the gun and it looks like that really bright hard edge is inside of that plasma coil. But for the most part, this is intro to OSL, how I do my OSL and legitimately the simplest and most straightforward thing that I can possibly come up with and have seen to paint it. That is how I paint OSL. That's it. That's it. It's easy. OSL is easy. Let's recap. OSL is all about setting the glow, right? So figure out your glow area, plasma coils. You highlight your all of your glow area using white ink, 
white ink. I'm not a fan of using white paint for this. You want white ink because of the semi-transparent nature of it and because of the low surface tension, right? So it's gonna flow into weird areas. So like on plasma coils specifically, it'll roll off of the coils and into the recesses around it, right? Then we're gonna establish our lighting halo. So the glow with white ink, the same white ink, load it into your airbrush and just establish a bit of a glow area around it. Come in and do really minor edge highlights to basically collect where the light would really be hitting edges hard. Okay. And then we come in, we hit it with whatever our glow color is. Dow and Rowdy Emerald Green is a color that I've used a ton for this. I thin mine down more. Experiment with this, but as a general statement, I would say the more transparent the paint, the better. Cool. You come in, you hit the bottom with a little bit of an edge highlight to reestablish this glow. Especially for plasma, I like the idea of having the glow deep down inside of there. And that's that. Bingo, bango, bongo, OSL done easy. Cheat code of the week. There you go. There you go.